Fortescue Metals out this morning, upgrading its full year uh, shipment uh, guidance um, to a potential 188 million tonnes, uh, amended its capex guidance to around 3 billion US dollars. Company saw a slight increase in its expenses per wet tonne, uh, and it looks ahead to its Iron Bridge project, expecting to produce 22 million tonnes of magnetite annually. Shares bumping up into the green this morning, up 5% uh, to just over $21. Um, Carl, what did you think of the, uh, of the update and also the stock at these levels? Well, yeah, I mean, this, obviously the, the headline was uh, their increase, our expected increase in production. Uh, and then you sort of have to dig a little and find the fact that costs are going up as well. So you've got to, yeah. if you're going to announce something bad, always try to announce it with something good uh, and make a bigger deal out of the something good. Uh, but yeah, look, I mean, slight increase in costs, you know, that they were expecting sort of 1550 uh, per tonne. Now we're sort of 1675 to 16. But it, I think the trend is the concerning thing there. So it has been trending high year on year for, for a few years now. Having said that, you know, 15, 16 bucks a tonne when you're getting about 100 and 100 to $105 a a ton is still pretty good money. And that's the message here, I think, for Fortescue shareholders. So um, you see the chart there. Look, it's fairly volatile. And that that, that is largely uh, based upon the ever flow of the underlying iron ore price. And I've said, I think the last time I was on uh, about a month ago, I said, look, stick stick with Fortescue. I, 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 can't, I don't think it's a screaming buy in terms of the valuation of the chart. But I definitely think there's enough to stick with, uh, especially if you're a yield investor, because that's going to be, um, you know, 10, 9, you know, even if it even if it drops off a little bit over the next couple of years, it's still going to be high single digits, fully frank. So, uh, it'll it'll certainly suit that yield hungry investor. Well, it's, it is. I mean, it would, like yeah. I said, sixteen bucks a ton, one hundred and five dollars a ton. Now the question is, where is iron? Where are iron ore prices going to be in the future? And hey, look, I'm pretty good at prognosticating, Koshi, but you know, I mean, that's a that's a tough one. But I, I do think they will surprise to the upside. And we've got all these um, horrible things happening in China at the moment. But yeah, you know, the other flip side of that is the Chinese government. You know, they'll respond to that. Uh, they'll like they like to keep that economy going and stimulating and uh, yeah. stimulated. And that'll that'll be healthiest for Fortescue as well. So I'm going to stick with what I said. Not a screaming buy on the chart or the valuation, the although it's a solid hold. It's a solid yeah. hold. Yeah. 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 Um, David Lane, who would have ever thought a few years ago that our resource stocks will be doing uh, high digit, fully franked dividend yields that <laughs> outperforming the big four banks? That's right. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and in fact, I was just looking at our uh, our uh, financial year 23 forecasts. And interestingly, Fortescue is currently trading on a, a forecast PE ratio of 8.9 times and a forecast dividend yield of 8.9%, uh, which I, I don't think I've ever seen a company tra trading at, at nine times PE and, and nine times 9% uh, 9 dividend yield, fully frank. So yeah, certainly attractive from that point of view. Uh, agree with Carl. We've got a hold recommendation on the stock. Uh, today's result was a, a positive one. Uh, their shipments were about five percent above our forecasts, and in line, the costs were actually in line with our our forecasts. Uh, the negative, I suppose, is that the Ironbridge project, which will be a, a very big project, has already been pushed out another quarter. So the, there is a bit of a delay there, which will impact the. The financial year 23 numbers, but uh, certainly a, a very good business. Uh, if you've got it in your portfolio, I'd be holding and, and enjoying that dividend yield. Yep. Um, probably not a buy at the moment. Just if we can, if we do see a little bit of a weakness in in either the iron ore price or the the share price, that might be a time to look at adding. 